lecture 9 we will discuss time reversal property of uh, Laplace transform and we will also discuss uh, two example questions so this is the time reversal property if there is a signal x of t and the transform of the signal is x of s and its ROC is represented by R then if there is a time reversed version of that particular signal that is x of minus t then its transform we can find out by using this particular formula by simply replacing s by minus s and in the case of ROC also there is a reversal means we need to change uh, in words we can say that uh, the time reversal of x of t produces a reversal of both sigma and j omega x in this plane means sigma becomes minus sigma and j omega becomes minus j omega and we'll see uh, how sigma and j omega changes in by using an example okay so this is the time reversal uh, property simply if t is changing to minus t s is also changing minus s and we need to reverse the roc also now we'll see one example okay in this question uh, you can see that we need to find out uh, the laplace transform and roc of the signal uh, x of minus t where x of t is uh, given by e raised to minus 2t into u of t in two way we can approach this problem uh, by direct formula or by using uh, the time reversal property means we can find out x of minus t okay now we'll see how we can apply the time reversal property in this particular problem and in the question uh, it is given x of t is e raised to uh, minus 2t into u of t means it's a standard form so i can uh, compare with the standard equation so it becomes uh, if it is in the form uh, e raised to minus 18 into u of t and the laplace transform is given by 1 by s plus a and the roc is sigma greater than uh, minus a okay so based on that you can write this uh, the laplace transform the signal or uh, the given signal is e raised to minus uh, 2t into u of t so this is your signal x of t and the laplace transform you can represent as x of s which is equal to 1 by s plus 2 and the roc you can write roc is sigma greater than minus 2 so if you take uh, the s plane so this is the s plane and uh, assume that this is a point uh, minus 2 and roc is greater than minus 2 means towards right so this is the roc of the signal x of t or x of s now we need to find out uh, the laplace transform of the signal x of minus t okay by using the property uh, the laplace transform of x of minus t is x of minus s so i can write uh, by simply changing s to minus s so this equation becomes minus s plus 2 so if you rearrange it becomes uh, if you take minus common so it becomes minus 1 by s minus 2 okay. and uh, if you are multiplying this sigma with uh, minus because we need to change uh, roc also we need to change it becomes minus r means in this case uh, we are multiplying sigma with minus so it becomes minus sigma so and here it is becomes 2 if you are multiplying with minus so we need to change the sign okay so that's the meaning so so you can write your roc sigma less than 2 okay this is a new case so i can uh, mark the roc like this in the s plane this is the sigma axis this is the j omega axis and uh, here it is 2 and sigma less than 2 means towards left so this is the roc okay 
so this is the answer uh, i can also verify this answer by simply finding what is x of minus t so x of minus t you can write uh, by simply changing uh, t with uh, minus t so here also we need to change so if you write you will get the new signal like this it becomes e raised to 2t into u of minus t okay so this is a anti causal signal so we can write directly by using the property uh, ss minus 2 and there is no minus so we need to an extra standard form there is a minus and uh, sigma less than 2 okay so you can see that by using the property the answer is c okay. so it's a simple way uh, simply changing uh, s to uh, minus s you will get the time reversal version okay. we'll see now one more question in this question uh, find the laplace transform and roc of the signal x of minus t where x of t is given by the equation minus e raised to minus t u of minus t plus 2 e raised to t u of minus t plus e raised to minus 2 t into u of t and one more uh, quantity is given in this is a laplace transform so laplace transform is given x of s is equal to minus 5s minus 7 divided by s plus 1 into s minus 1 into s plus 2 with roc between minus 2 and minus 1 so i'll draw this uh, roc waveform so in a graphical way so it is indicated that actually there is uh, three poles you can mark one is at minus 1 another one at minus 2 and plus 1 so now it is given the ROC is between minus 2 and minus 1 okay. the ROC is uh, between minus 2 and minus 1 now uh, we can uh, we need to find uh, what is the laplace transform of the signal x of minus t so by using the property uh, laplace transform of x of minus t is simply x of minus s so this is x of s so i can replace s with minus s so it becomes minus uh, 5 into minus s minus 7 divided by minus s plus 1 into minus s minus 1 into minus s plus 2 and uh, roc also we need to change this uh, minus 2 to minus 1 becomes between 1 and 2 means the poles are changing so i will re rewrite first so it becomes 5s uh, plus 7 divided by if you take minus here uh, it becomes s minus 1 here also if you take minus it becomes s plus 1 okay uh, so you'll get minus 1 into minus 1 and if you take minus in the last case also it becomes s minus 2 so you'll get one more minus so if you multiply all these things uh, finally you will get a minus okay so you can write minus 5s minus 7 divided by s minus 1 into s plus 1 into s minus 2 ok so this is the final term sorry if you so already there is a minus sorry i made a mistake here here is it actually minus 7 okay okay minus 7 now if you multiplying with a minus it becomes plus and the roc you can write uh, so if you plot the poles 
one pole at one and another one at uh, two and another one at minus one. Now this uh, two bec minus two becomes two and this minus one becomes one. So we need to change. So it becomes one to two. Okay. So ROC between one and two. So we can write uh, the ROC between one and two. Okay. This is the ROC. So that's why uh, there is a term uh, sigma and j omega axis also changing. So we need to change this sign. So this is the final answer. Thank you.